and this is not a spring chicken. Today we're bringing to you our cons daily for day number... 11. Ooh, and it's actually cons day number... 9. <laughs> well, we were here, we were starting it two days early because there's pre-stuff. Like, before every every festival there are pre-things that you can do. I mean, like at Sundance, we walked around for a day to see what was going on. And actually, coming in early is fabulous because they don't have all the same security. You can go ahead and get your shots and everything's mm -hmm. a lot more casual. <laughs> you get everything done, all the B stuff done before. But, um, okay, here we're going to open up with, if it's Thursday and it doesn't have anything to do with Jackie Chan, well, who must it have to do with? Kristen Stewart? And you, and you know oh. why it does with Kristen Stewart? Why? Well, they ran her movie yesterday. <laughs> on the road? On the road. And... Whatever they thought what they were going to see, they didn't see it, which means she's pulling a Jennifer Anderson soap. Either not, that or got changed in editing. No. Got okay, changed in editing that PR people. No, she's help. doing the same thing that Jennifer Anderson does in movies. She, this was very hard for me to do, but it felt free and good. And well, none of the free and good stuff is actually in the movie. Um. That's all off camera and dark shadows, which means it's it's basically they, they we would never make a good French off on dark film. Frostfro to Foe would not hire anybody to make a movie like that, so. Ah. But, uh, we got, oh. but the weather today in uh, France. The weather is, here's the it, a weird thing about the weather. It's, it's so bad that you can't get television transmission uh, unscrambled from over there at the moment over the satellites. And yet it That's pans really at bad. the moment it's in the 70s. I know, that's really kind but of But 60 cool. miles down the road, there's a god-awful storm. But rain is coming. Oh, the rain is coming. Big time rain is coming. It's gonna, it looks like they're going to end the festival on the 27th with a flood. So mm. They still have snow listed under the tiny list. Chance of snow, slim. I love that, slim. It's 75 degrees <laughs> at uh, 1030 at night, and chance of snow, slim. I would hate to have that. Well, and part of it is, not only is the festival itself winding down, but there's other things that are starting because, number one, because the weather has not been the greatest. Um, where did they do in Geneva? Uh, they opened, uh, I think, the Grasso uh, ex uh, Extravagance Attendance. It was basically, they opened up a jewelry store in Geneva, and a lot of the people, actually Academy Award winners, were flown from, I think, Cannes over there to open up the jewelry store. Plus, they also have a, a movie star lounge had, um, uh, let me get this one. I can put this up real quick while she's talking about the oh, parties well, are going on. Okay. Well, one of the other things is we talked about it winding down. It also has started the Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> it's happening, I think, this weekend. And so they've already started with Prince Albert and President Bill Clinton's Night Out in Monaco Gala. So we've already gotten pictures back from that. So that's starting to go on. Also, last night, um, Let's see, Kanye West did his movie, which was... What, what was it's supposed to be... Uh, a, Cold a, Summer. A, a, it was basically something that they had not seen before, so... Uh, it was shown in the pyramid area on the beach on seven screens, three on the front wall, two on the side walls, one on the ceiling, and one on the floor, which is actually kind of cool. And, of course, they have photos of him. Yes, Kanye West on date night out with Kim Kardashian at the movies. Of course, it happens to be his movie. Yeah. And Kim, of course, was there for a show as well as Jay-Z. Yeah. And uh, what we got, actually, it's jammed on me. And oh, then also on the road premiere, which was yesterday, they had their party last night at Cannes with Garrett Hedlund from Tron and Kristen Stewart and, of course, one of my friends, Vincent DePaul, who happens to be over there. We've got photos of him um, that came out on either Getty or Wire Images. And, so it's always uh, nice to see them going. Yeah, and then G-Star held its opening, its flagship store in What Cons, is G-Star? Uh, Young Trendy. Ah. And uh, Young Trendy. They also, ah. And uh, uh, basically they also have a thousand Jimmy is, he's Jimmy's everywhere. wonderful. Well, he's from Haiti, and so he really supports all the Haitian causes. But he's an international actor, and I always—he's always got a huge smile. Yeah. And but many of you might know him from the movie, uh, TV show Heroes. Yeah. And he was on the Race Your Mind. Like I said, John, okay, uh, Nicole Kidman is everywhere at the moment. I think she got three films in competition. The same as McConaughey. They're not in this. She's in two of the McConaughey films. She was in the. Oh really? Two. Of them? Moonrise, Sunrise, Sun, Moonrise. Kingdom. Kingdom. That's what it is. And, and a Paperboy, but. Uh, 
Because Nicole Kidder talked about how she entered the role. I had to identify myself with a character I play. In order to play it in such a raw way, my job was to let myself go, to not work with it, my own feelings. None of these shots was the same. We were constantly exploring. I look for contrast and diversity. I love expressing my imagination. Basically, um, they said that, that she is the new George Clooney. Basically, she's she is everywhere, whether they want her to be there or not. But see, she also has an Oscar, so she, you know, I would ask you to walk with your Oscar. And they said, okay, you can come in. Well, it's kind of like an Oscar gives you a free pass. Is she actually walking around with her Oscar? No, they said that's all you have to do. We know some I mean, people, they know who Nicole Kidman is. We know some people. At least when she's got red hair. What it is, is that they said Nicole Kidman is basically acting like an actress that has something to prove, which she doesn't. She's got her Oscar on. I mean, and she's, a, and and she's, she's got multiple nominations, doesn't she? Yeah, I mean, and, she's she's been, and she does all, she'll work on anything she wants, but she's... But we got um, we got Zach Efron on his experience with Lee Daniels. And I wasn't supposed to feel at ease. Uh, the character I play is a young, naive man who learns how to better understand the world. I love shooting with Nicole Kidman. Today, I'd like to have other experiences in cinema to go beyond frontiers. It was a dream, and I hope to be able to continue to act in films like this. I was a blank page for Lee Daniels to write on. Yeah, and then um, we're happy to report that uh, Matthew McConaughey you've been seeing for the last couple of days isn't the Matthew McConaughey that showed up for his movie premiere. Than, uh, you know. Did they, maybe they got, he got some rest oh, or something. He looks, he looks a he, whole lot better. He looks a whole lot better. I mean, it looked like he was thin and worn out. Now he's, you know, he's back to he was thin and worn out. Now he's, you know, he's back to his more heavy-faced, more muscular thing. It looked like he was more muscular thing. It looked like Okay, we got uh, we got a quote for today, and um, Jacopo Almo Altieri. Among young people, especially, there's a desire to assert one's own identity, which means the guy reads he reads a lot of philosophy because that's about as old a thing as you can get. They've been exerting their identity since the you know since the days of of you know the caveman when the young kid would hit the daddy over the head and take the, the woman's so. <laughs> but. Um, uh, we got, what else have we got? Oh, we got the thing which basically is really bad sense of time. What? Uh, oh, I know. I can't believe Okay, first of all, if you're going to cons anyway, I suppose you, know you, you would probably look and see if there's an app. Oh, yeah. We but, of course, you're telling us right now. It's the, if, the, if the show has only three more Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three more days left, and they're now telling us they got an app available. Yeah, and find all the news on the 2012 Festival to Cons. Whether you're on iPhone, iPad, Android, and Android tablets, uh, you will find detailed information and news on film screening, times, interviews, photos, and videos, as well as live coverage on the awards. This application is free and downloadable on the stores. Mm -hmm. Of course, we didn't we didn't think about that. If we'd have thought about it. We'd have at, we'd have checked the day one. So we're, I, I'm assuming actually, they should have said that earlier. Yeah, I, I don't know what information you're actually going to get compared. To, I'm in the press site, so. That's what I'm getting, but um, uh, we also have, uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, the paper boy, okay, I can't get an English press kit for the paper boy because the movie isn't coming out until November, so what it is is they all, <coughs> I figured out, if I have no English press kit, it's because, if I have no English press kit, it's because the movie's not coming out till the fall, mm -hmm. and the press kit's only designed for the French Judges of okay, the judges aren't in France. Most of judges of okay, the judges aren't in France. Most of them are English. Which means half of them don't say, understand it. Oh, hey, oh, this is really excellent. Uh, anybody tell me what the hell this says? I do not speak French. <laughs> you know, I, I actually was in an episode. I used to, okay, actually, I was in an episode of the combat with with. Um, uh, Fernando Lamas, and he took a fight in Argentina, and he speaks fluent Spanish, so he's doing a fr bad French accent. Oh, he's doing Charles Boyer, mm. so who basically made all those nice things. So, but um, um, you know, there's this. You know, of the people we know any good was a surprise screening today. Oh yeah, because it just came out. It did. It's on right now. The surprise screening is running right as we're speaking. Well, see, part of it is if you're there, okay, it's always fun to see a surprise screening, but see, part of it is logistically, like, are you going to run across town and go see a movie and you have no clue what it is? No, we, we know, um, for instance... Um, right, unless you haven't seen any movies, right, and you want to go see it. We know an actress, for instance, that 
we she basically didn't get the information until after the fact, but she was she said she was having dinner right right across. I wonder she said I wonder what was going on, and now I know what was going on. She was having dinner in the same spot that they were having the big conference of the captain and Michelle and Rodriguez. Oh, they were. Yeah. Oh. And very basically, it's really simple to go into the the thing. You're having dinner. You just walk over and say hi. Well, you're in the middle of dinner though, so. No, but they, no, you, you, you get up and go say you go over and get on the carpet. Then you go back to your dinner. You go you go walk around, get on the carpet, oh, and go I back see. and sit down and eat. But she didn't know until that fact. So but it's just a a lot goes on in cons that people don't really know about, which is the bad part. Actually, we have, here's one that most people don't realize, the actor Norman Lloyd from St. Elsewhere is still alive. He's still been working. Really? Yeah. He's basically, um, a, a, um, a, 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 he organized three workshops, one with uh, Philip um, uh, Long Asperger, uh, Alexandre Duslas Music Lessons, and Philip Kaufman's Civil Workshop, Norman Lloyd. Lloyd. He's an Alfred. He's not only an Alfred Hitchcock actor. Oh, that's He was the familiar. producer and director on Alfred Hitchcock's show. Besides, you know, m m most of you people besides say Elfer might have remembered him from Seven Days, when he was the doctor in charge. Uh. So, but he's been around forever and is still working. It's not, he's ninety-seven years old and still work. He's got he's got uh, you know uh, with Christopher Lee by five years. Mm. Christopher Lee's only 92, and he's only booked until he's 95, and he's 97, so, and he still looks good for 97, so, he looks like Norman White at 97, but, uh, so, uh, you know, we, we, we got, uh, well, we got anything else to say about the things today, we could try, see if there's anybody in attendance today that, that might be different, well, might. we know Matthew McConaughey, uh, right, and, and Nicole Kidman, and Burns. The guy, you know, the guy that does all the documentaries. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Oh yeah, but he's in one of the movies. Oh, Kylie Manu is there because they didn't like her movie. <laughs> I read that. They really did. Kristen Stewart because Robert's movie Cosmopolis uh, is getting ready to. Mostly the mostly the English most of the English actors have all totally left now. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's very, very few people. Well, it's all, it all has to do with other people. Oh, Bernardo Dictorial is there. So he's there. Mm -hmm. uh, John Cusack is there. Yeah, but they're pushing and, and David Cronenberg and, and, and Zach Efron. We know the people from the Paperboy are there. So, mm -hmm. But um, I guess until the next time when we'll be doing our Day 12, which is basically... it's got, I, I'm assuming the news is going to start going like this. Well, part of it is with the satellites down. It's already started going like oh, this. Oh, no, because here's part of it. When we started, when we started putting this thing together about a half hour ago, I had four items on the cans daily. That's all that was able to get transmitted. And then, as I've been, um, oh, you got all this information while we've been talking. Uh, I know, as we've been talking, the information has been flowing in. I mean, just look at it. Now. Oh, okay. So we start off with four, and what do we have about twelve? Well, about fifteen. Oh, we've got a lot of it now. I mean, it's. I started out with uh, Lee Daniels, Carlos Regatas, Unsutton Regard, and the Marches film. That's all I had to start with. And as we've been sitting here, it has been filling in on me. Mm. So I guess until next time, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net where I'm putting up the, the press material, which basically the production notes. You got the three in English so far, the three in French are going to be up late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I have to, I have to actually go figure out what they say before I put them up. I am, I don't want to put up something that I should be putting up. And then you can go for the, the other, the faster news items are at www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com where we're putting up the fast things that are coming in. This is being done earlier in the morning, and then throughout the day we'll put more stuff up there. So. And of course, you can also find out what we're doing by uh, looking on Facebook under Monty Bubbles Network or on Twitter under Monty Bubbles. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.